Hello everyone, this is Vicki and the look of exhaustion coming back from market. Today is March 6th and it's Wednesday and it's two weeks since my last video because I thought I was going to do a video before market and it just didn't happen. This is floss tube number 153 and I'm going to do, it's almost like a two-parter. So when I was getting everything together, I figured I'd do old stuff first and then show you the market swag that I came home with and talk about that. So semi, semi organized, right? Okay, so Eagles fans, shout out to Jason Kelsey because he retired and I watched the, I watched the, um, I looked up the video later and watched it and cried. And then I just watched, uh, they have a podcast, him and his brother, called uh, New Heights. And I watched that and I teared up again. <sighs> Could they stop? Could they stop? Anyway, so I figured I might as well wear the t-shirt, right? <sighs> I got home last night, like 1030 last night. I also think I hear some thunder. It may rain. We'll see. Whatever. I'm in the house. At least I didn't try to do it outside, right? Old, old news. Okay, so I'm not going to do the old chart because I have too much stuff to go through. Um, my giveaways from last time, all of them were shipped. I see that I reached 2,000 subscribers. I don't know if I'm going to do a huge giveaway. I did not have time to pick out stuff for a giveaway, so maybe next video, we'll see, we'll see. But thank you to all my subscribers, it it makes me feel good. I mean, all in all, it just makes me feel good, it's great. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, don't be a slacker, there's a bell, just click the bell. I promise, it probably won't hurt, okay. Maybe I won't promise, but it shouldn't hurt, and you shouldn't break a nail, okay. One thing that I did forget to tell you guys, like all month last month, was my total stitches for January. And then I didn't even total up all my stitches for February. And I could do it and have you hold on a minute while I do it. But I'm not going to do that to you. But, so maybe next video I'll do the stitches for February. But for January, I was impressed with myself because I did 8,375 stitches. That's good for me. Uh, February is probably not going to look that good. I was busy. And March is not looking great right now, but hopefully I get back in the swing of things and I can get some more stitches in. Another thing that I had noticed, I was watching some floss too before market. Okay, all this is before market. I actually, when I had some time or when I was sewing, I like to watch videos when I'm sewing just because it's noise in the background type thing. And I started watching some of the Ronnie Rose stuff because I've fallen behind. And uh, I noticed he only has like 420 subscribers, which I think is horrible. Like, he should have more, guys. So, if you watch me, wonderful, thank you. But give Ronnie Rowe a look-see. He's got a bunch of videos out. Um, I think part of the problem is because it doesn't say Floss 2 before it. So, it's going to be R-O-N-N-I-E, Ronnie. Row R O W E designs, right? His videos, I think I want to say they average around 15 minutes and or less. And he talks, I think it's interesting. He has little stories and he talks about how he got started. He talks about the um, designs that he did. He actually has videos to show you how he did the designs, how he created them. He uh, shows his models that he stitches everything. Everything he designs, he stitches. He said the only time he ever had a model stitcher, he had them do like five things, and it was actually his mother. So, there you go. So, give Ronnie Rowe a shout, you know. Go go shout him out. Go, go uh, watch him. Go spread the word. But I may email him and tell him to put Floss Tube before his name. He'd probably get an uptick in the, in the uh, subscribers. He deserves it. And... 
Also, I will be showing you my Ronnie Rowe. And because I watched him, I ended up bringing out one of my Ronnie Rowe designs out of hibernation and put it, added him to my whip list. <sighs> now, I did get a good amount of stitching done in the two weeks, be, well, you know, since my last video, but not much in the past few days because I was traveling and so what, and, and uh, so what, so what, yeah, because I, words, words, and whatnot is what I was looking for. So let's get into it. I finished my February portion of 272 words. This is, this is sort of what it looks like. It's a horrible picture because I took the picture on the chart does not have a straight on, um, you're not looking right at it. What, what's the word? The angle of the picture is askew. So I put it in my software and fixed it to look straight so I can make the lines that I did. And, uh, okay. So the designer is Primrose Needleworks. I am stitching this on 32 Count Lugana Vanilla Latte from Be Stitch Me. Oh, I saw it market. And um, it's a big one. It's 349 by three, uh, 375. I am using the call for threads, except for on the words, I am not using the over dies. I'm using 3826. I use the DMC equivalent because I didn't see much uh, variation in the thread. So I didn't want to buy like 10, 15 skeins for the words. So this is what it looks like. The green is what I had already had started. And then I broke it up for my month's, uh, monthly pieces. And February was this chunk right here. January was that bit right there. Okay. And here's what it looks like. I had to finish off January by doing the words fathers and fourth. And that space between fathers and brought is there. It's charted like that. I did change the I in Liberty because it was shorter. It was charted shorter. And I wanted to match the one in the word in. Although I did shorten it in down here. Testing. Because that's the way it was charted. But I thought about making it taller. But it, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine, right? And here we are. That is the January and February portion. March, I end up filling in in here and doing some lines of... No, doing some lines. Stop it. Say no to drugs, kids. Uh, I'll be doing some more lines of text because there are several words, as the title tells you. Loving how it's looking, and um, I even got to show a picture to uh, what's your bucket at Be Stitch Me. All right, we're going to put this away. So basically, all of my monthly goals were met because the next one up is this one, this is uh, Animal Magnetism from Dimensions. It's a chart and charms. It is out of print, but you may be able to find it. Maybe. This one's being stitched on a 28 count linen. And I th I want to say it's like a mystery linen, but I'm almost positive. It's one of those 28 count linens you used to get in the tubes, like a Charles Craft or whatever. And I'm using the called four colors at their uh, DMC. And this monthly goal... Every month I want to put at least 100 or 200 stitches in it. I, I forget what I said. It's either 100 or 200. So I'm doing good. January and February were met. And for January, I put in 325. For February, there was less, which I knew was going to happen. And that's 240 stitches. And here we go. So basically the 240 stitches were all half stitches and I filled in more of the earth in here. And if you hear a buzzing, it's a phone call coming in and I'm just going to ignore it for now and call them back. So there we go. 
It's looking really good, guys. I don't think I added any more backstitch to it because I I think my th my thinking at the moment, because you know it could change the drop of a hat, but I think I want to finish the top, move my way over. This way, if I finish the top and move down with all the half stitches that go around, then I can do more backstitching because I don't want to leave all that backstitching for the last minute. I just, mm, it would kill me. So I'll move over and then move down. And I'm loving the way that looks. So January and February. So far, two months in and we're still on course with goals. Early in the year. I have faith in me. Sometimes I have faith in me. I'm still scared of meeting all the goals on 272 words. Only because we keep on joking that if I keep on having a frog, it's going to end up being like 342 words. Uh, next up. I don't know why I stitched on this. I think I had finished all my stitches and I was like, I just want to stitch something easy. So I pulled out my long dog sampler. You belong to me. This one I am stitching with PR168 from Silks For You. And it's being stitched on a 32 count mystery linen. All right, and here is where I am. I stitched the spire. Oh, and some of the top border, which I stitched in and probably had to take it out. But I got a little bit further than when I had from where I, the point where I frogged, so that was good. And I ended up doing, let's see, 400 stitches. Not bad. I think I did a couple prompts for my groups. There we go. I think it looks really good. Angela is available in my group if you would like that needle minder. I still have some of hers left. There. Next up is part of the monthly goals. And this is Maurice aka Christmas Moose. It is a panic kit. I'm using the called for threads, but I changed out the fabric. Here's what it looks like when it's done. And the fabric I'm using is 32 count murky from Picture This Plus. Again, it's 100 or 200 stitches a month I want to do on him. So this month I only did 215. Let me see. Put this here. And there we go. What did I do on him? I did a couple of prompts. I had to get in like 200 stitches. So I filled in his snout down here. And then I still want, had a couple of stitches I needed to do. So I finished out some back stitching with that string that was out there. Yeah, I used it up to put back stitching in here and down in these cabins down in here. My thought is, because there's so much backstitching to bring out these houses, cabins, huts, whatever you want to call them, um, when I do a prompt, if I do the full stitches and I'm like, hmm, still have to do a little bit more, I can just fill in the rest of the stitches with backstitching. Because it's a pain to count backstitches. And if I do more backstitches, that's fine. It just means I'm getting more done. Oh, and what the fuckulent is still available in my group. All right. Maurice has accomplished his goal for February. We will see them. I say them, Maurice and the animals later on this month. I had to do some stitching on my mini space traveler. It was full coverage February. I still didn't get as many stitches in on full coverage as I wanted, but I did end up getting 521 stitches. My goal for my full coverage is to get 500 stitches. Everything else gets three. So space traveler. I have cut this off about here. 
basically I'm doing six to, six full pages. So there's a sliver that goes across the bottom and then like a couple pages here that I cut off so it's going to look more like that. This is a retired chart artwork by David Hoff Richter, Richter. And obviously it's a Heaven and Earth Designs. This one is being stitched on fabric. Hang on. Forgot to hold it. I don't know where the cord went. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's being stitched on 22 count Ada. And here it is. I almost have a page finished, guys. Right here is where that page ends. So I have a few stitches in here to do and then this to fill in. But I ended up doing 521 stitches and I knew it would be probably another 500 before I'm finished. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So what did I do? I finished filling in the windows, which took a long time. There are several colors in those windows. There was a lot of confetti and I just kept on going on. I was like, I'm finishing up these windows. So that's what I did. And then I would take the threads and put them where they needed to be. And if it, if it was close, otherwise I, I did do some parking. That's why you see some park threads because it was, yeah, that's done. Yeah, that's done. That like that. I am focusing on just getting at least the page finish first. I think it looks good. It always looks better in the camera than it does in real life. Also, by the way. Alrighty. Did not get as much done on full coverage as I wanted to, but progress is progress, right? That's old news. That's what I stitched in February. Now, Thursday. I live in South Central Florida. So to get up to Nashville, it's about 12, 13 hours. That being said, it always takes longer than that. Because you have to stop for gas. I mean, it's over 600 miles just to the top of Georgia. So you have to stop for gas. You have to, you know, eat, bathroom, those things. I ended up, I was talking to uh, Megan, Stitch and May. And she lives up in north uh, northwest Georgia. So we talked and we decided I was going up to her house. So I drove the 10 hours up to her house on Thursday. I left a little bit earlier than I wanted. Then, then I, I, I give myself time. Like I have to leave by now. So I left the house a little bit earlier because I had some errands to run in town. I had to go to the bank. I had to go get gas and I had to get coffee priorities. Right. So I called her on my way out and I looked at the clock. I was like, see, I wonder what Leave, leave by 11 and I am driving out of town by 11. So that was good. I got up to her house. Nine. Right, somewhere around 9 o'clock. 9.30. Traffic wasn't too bad. It just seems that when I pick my times, I just so happen to miss the major cities during rush hour, which is good. I did get a little bit of traffic on the way up. But that was actually in Florida. They're doing something to the to 75 slash the Florida Turnpike. So it makes it a little bit ratty up that way. It was fine though. And traffic was still really busy at 9 o'clock at night near Atlanta, which is a normal thing. And I got up there and, you know, chit-chatting with her and her husband and her son. And her son had to go to bed and her and I stayed up for a while. Just catching up and, you know, all giddy about going. Now, Megan didn't go to Nashville Needlework she or the, the market. She went to the Katrina Boyd retreat. And her friend also joined in and we shared a room because I didn't stay at the Embassy Suites. I did take stitching. I took three, three different projects. I stitched on two. So one that didn't get stitched on was silver moon tea she still needs her stitches because this month i am slated 
through the uh, Sammy J Whippagories, I am slated to work on. Let's see. Love Bugs. Let's do Coffee. Silver Moon Tea. December Blue, Blue Fairy. And Scary Sampler. Along with my Animal Magnetism. And Maurice. My Christmas Moose. And 272 words. So I took ones that were going to be part of this month's challenge. Plus, I had wanted to start my Ronnie Rowe. Start, you know, bring it in as a whip. So I did not stitch on poor Silver Moon Tea, which is fine. I will get stitches in on her. She's still slated to be worked on. On Thursday night, while we were sitting there talking in her little stitchy room, I did pull out an easy one because I wanted to get some kind of stitches in. And I worked on Ship Concordia. This is my Ronnie Row that I've started. And we had this little challenge, like if you start, start, oh, mine's a air quote start, on the 29th, then go ahead and on the 29th of every month, you can start something by that designer. And I have his other ships and a couple of other things, so that, that was my thinking behind that too. Whether I'll start new ones, I don't know, but the option's there, right? So this is Ship Concordia. Now he calls for, I think, 413, for it to be stitched in 413. I decided to just 310 it, and it is being stitched on 18 count Ada like he does his, and this is how far I am now. Basically what I stitched on, I only did about 100 stitches, and it was right in here. Like I said, we were talking, and I just started filling in. I wanted one color, sit there and chit-chat. And I think we we ended up watching uh, Belinda. Or was that... Did we watch Belinda before or after? We watched Belinda Monday night when we got home. I don't know what we were doing, but we stitched while we were sitting there chatting. So that's how far it is right now. And he will go back into the rotate rotation. So you'll see him again this year. He's got to get in at least 300 stitches. And we only did the 100. So there's that. All right. Run and row. The other thing I stitched on. And I took this purposely. Because not only am I stitching it. But Megan and Sammy are stitching it. And I know that uh, Gina's stitching it. And I think Sarah is also. So there's a few of us. And that is Love Bugs by Talon Emblem. I'm stitching mine on a fabric flare for my fabric flare of the month. It's 32 count even weave. And I'm using the called for threads. It's all DMC. This one's only 59 by 171. I know that Megan and Sammy are doing theirs horizontally. I am doing mine the original vertically. I did not get a lot of stitches in. Matter of fact, I haven't even really technically logged them. But I think when I was sort of pseudo counting, I think I was about up to like 82 or 85 stitches. And this was done at the end of the weekend on um, Sunday night. I with Katrina very graciously let me go down and stitch with them because Megan's friend had to leave early and Megan wanted to go down and stitch. So did I. So she let me just sit in and, and stitch with them. So, what I stitched on. Basically, I only had the butterfly done. And I stitched all the little bits around the butterfly while we were sitting there chatting. I don't know if I have any gizmo, but you can look in my group if you if you like him. I think he's adorable. Did you know that the guy that uh, voiced gizmo died this weekend? I think they said he had a massive heart attack. But yeah, I just read that randomly in my uh, in my feed today. Today? Last night? I don't know. The days are blending in, guys. I would put this in a bag, but uh, Megan stole it out from under me. So there's that. But I haven't. I, no, I told her I had another one at the house. So I just need to pull one out. And I didn't do that yet. Where am I? What's my name? Where am I at? Okay, we're going to pile this here. Another thing I received purchases 
before I left was my hedgerow. I got that from Sammy J, a tiny hummingbird stitchery. I didn't realize I didn't have it, so I told her to order it for me. And then I got my fabric of the month from Grace Notes. And this time, instead of a sticker, she sent me, I don't know, is this pearl cotton? It's pearl cotton. And it is size five, bright red. And the color this month was Cupid. And I have, I had her change it out to, well, this one's linen still, but next month's will be Verdal because 40 count Verdal, if I can get an even weave and a 40 count, that'd be even better. So this is, uh, Cupid. It's not as pink as it's showing. It's more of a lavender color. I want to say purple is a purpley. I don't know if this side shows better. Maybe. No, it's still showing up a little pink. It's not. It's purple. And I get a fat quarter. So this can go in the stash. I have a lot more fabric to add to that stash. I'm going to need a lot more room. Because market. All right. Let's sit back and chat for a moment, and then I will show you what I got. Oh, I had credit on my Amazon, and I decided to get another one of those stamp kits. Got this one. Again, I don't think I've seen this as a licensed piece, so those are the ones I'm trying to grab. Um, I still have not found the threads to my peacock, just so you know. Update, no update. All right, so Thursday, I went up to Megan's. Friday, I drove over to Nashville by myself because Megan went with her friend and I had to be there earlier for a meeting with Sammy. My, my whole reasoning was to go was to help out with Sammy, right? We got up there, we had, an, I'm not going to remember everything, guys, but I'll, I'll do what I can. And we had the meeting, and then we started shopping. What floor we went to first, we might have went to the second floor, which is the first floor of market, I think. And I know we got that floor done. I think it was the first floor. We got that first floor done before they closed. It was getting hot. There were lines. There, It was... How to explain it. You're so excited to see the things. And there's so many people. And you know. There's people you know. You, people you meet. People you don't know. And there's an information overload. And you know. More bodies in one room. Is going to bring in a lot more heat. So most people know to crank up their AC. In their rooms. Before people get there. There were lines for I know Fox and Rabbit and Teresa Koga and someone else. I'm trying to think. I don't remember. There was a, on that one floor that or the second third floor is that the third floor? I don't remember. Again, it's pff, I have a book that tells me what floor they're on. Um. So oh, that's another thing. After the meeting, Sammy had taken another class. So I had time and I went around to the people I knew and knocked on their doors because they keep the doors closed because other people, people will try to shop. So I went in and said hi to some friends while I was there. Um, I am going to, I was going to try to do something floss tube professional and insert pictures and talk about them why. Well, I did, you know, but I'm not good at that, so I'm not going to do it. What I'll do is I have pictures that I will put in at the end, and then if you stay for the end end, you'll see how happy my dog was when I came home, okay? Uh, we went just about to every place, almost. We, she did, she wanted to make sure that we hit all the stores she had pre-orders on first. Makes sense. 
we left any kind of fabric stores to last because they were the ones with the longest lines. People are, it's Fabric Friday. They're trying to get that fabric before it's gone. Absolutely understandable. The fabric people, all of them did very well, even the lesser known ones, which I am so happy for because there's always more room for more fabric dyers. Uh, everybody's got their own way to dye. Everybody's got their own color favorites. Everyone's got their, you know, techniques, their faves. Uh, I'm saying, um, a lot because I'm trying to remember. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. No, I'm not. I, it happens. I will try not to say, um, how's that? That was Friday. Friday is a short day because it's in the afternoon until 8 o'clock at night. After that, we... Sammy brought her husband along. He obviously spent time at the hotel. So on Friday, we were hungry. We were starving. We went and picked up her husband and we went to Five Guys. It was delicious. It was the first time for them I've been... And um, I turned them on to vinegar french fries, which Casey absolutely loved. Sammy, not so much. But now I, now she, he, they're going to have to get some malt vinegar so Casey can have his french fries from now on. It was really nice meeting Casey. Him and I have an ongoing inside joke to each other anyway. So it was just great to do it in person, right? I, uh, we went back to the rooms... On. I'm getting them mixed up. I think on Friday, Sammy and Casey came back to the room to meet up with Megan and her friend. And we sat and talked for a while. And then they went back to their room. Oh, I drove them back. That's right. I, dr I drove them back to their hotel because they stayed at yet a different hotel. Saturday, met up with Sammy at Market. And we finished the rest of the rooms. And I had taken video of some of the places that had fabric still. And we put it up on her site so she'd be able to see if anybody wanted anything, if it was still available, or she could. They take orders at that point so they can ship them to you later if, if it's sold out. So we did some of that uh, with the videos. We took pictures. We met a lot of people. We got a lot of stuff. Our shoulders hurt. We went out to lunch at Culver's. She had never had Culver's, so I took her out to Culver's. And um, we sat there trying to think, okay, this is what we have left to do. Bop, 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 bop. Went back, finished up what we needed to do. And then that night, we went and uh, went out to dinner. We ended up going out to dinner with Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics, who was not there with her fabric. She was there to shop for her shop. And... Um, the two people that work with her. And we also went out with Aaron from Autumn Lean Stitchery. Great people. Love them. Amy Jane is one of my favorites. She is she is a hoot and a holler. She is one of uh, Leslie's workers. She works with Leslie's shop. And Aaron is a trip. And I wish Cassandra was there because I'm sure it would have been even that much more fun. But it was great having dinner with them. Although the place we went to, I, what was it called? Party Fowl. F-O-W-L. I had poutine for the first time, and I'm going to have to try it someplace else, because I'll try it one more time someplace else. I was not a fan. I think the uh, the gravy was a little too salty for me. It just didn't... I don't know. It wasn't great. I wasn't happy. And even Leslie said, it, and I think Aaron also concurred, that it didn't look quite right like a real poutine, which, I mean, we're in the middle of Ohio, so maybe... I mean... No, I mean in the middle of Ohio, in the middle of Nashville. So I can understand that you you should get things closer to where they originate from, right? Like a cheesesteak. It's always, it's uh, you can find some okay places down here. You find better places in Pennsylvania and you find the best place in Philly. Uh, next, we had dinner there. Sammy went back to her hotel. I went back to the NBC Suites and I hung out with uh, a whole bunch of people. They usually hang out in the atrium. And I went out, I went and hung out with them for a while at the table. 
and I had to go get something to drink because basically everything's closed down there. And I, I wasn't, I'm not drinking alcohol because I'm driving and I don't drink a lot anyway. So I called Megan when I went to go get coffee. I said, get dressed. You're coming with me because her friend Marissa was already sleeping anyway. She's early to bed. And I said, you need to come over and at least for an hour or so and just, you know, shoot the shit with everybody. So she said, okay. Um, I went and picked her up. We went and got coffee. I think we ended up at a Circle K for coffee. It's fine. It was something. And we got some snacks and we came back. And we hung out and sat at the table. A lot of people were starting to go to bed because they were tired. She's, and Megan's like, I, everybody left. I came here and everybody, I, I made everybody leave. <laughs> it was, it had nothing to do with that. It's just the exhaustion level of having all day. But a few of us did stay. I think in the beginning, like Leslie was there. I want to say, I remember seeing whether they were sitting at the table talking with us or not. There was Oliver from Fire Poppies, Karen and Bren from Fox and Rabbit. Uh, Teresa and Brian had shown up at one point. Diane, it, it is Kismet was there. I think Zan Crazy Van Lady was there. Michelle Bendy was sta was there. I think she was in the table behind us. Brittany from Ingleside Imag Imaginarium was there. Amy Jane, because she was sitting there stitching. We ended up hanging out for a while. Amy Jane was there. Noah, he was um, virtual stitchers. He was helping out. Karen and Bren. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get the mental image. Our friend Rob was there. He's virtual stitchers and friends. And if I, anybody's watching that was there and they're like, what about me? It's not personal. I'm just, it's a, it's a total haze once you're done. Unless you have video evidence, it, it's hard to remember everything. Um, they started to leave. We ended up going over to another table that had been playing cards and there was a little bit more light over there and it ended up just uh, me, Megan, Amy Jane and Diana. Diane. Diana. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember if she's got an E or an A because I have a friend that's... I've always called her Diana and she's Diana. Well, now I just call her Di. So, anyway, so we all sat and we, we chatted for a while. It started getting late, so we went home. We went home. No, we didn't. We went back to the hotel. I was to meet up with Sammy on Sunday. She only had a couple of things to grab, but then she ended up just doing it and she just wanted to go home and she started her way home. So I went back over to pick up a couple of more things also after she left and I drug Megan with me because she, she was like, I just want to see it. And they don't mind, she, she just wants to look. So I introduced her some, to some of my friends who were still there and because they, everybody starts packing up after a while. And so she, so we got to see more things. And I even walked into some more shops because I just wanted to see stuff. You know, just get, we didn't get to every place because we went to orders first. First year for her. So she didn't have as many orders with like absolutely everybody. But we went in and I also re-went into other shops and stuff like that. So that was good. Uh, what do we do for lunch? Did we go do lunch? No. Her and I went to um, Dunkin' Donuts for coffee before we got there. Longest Dunkin' Donuts line. Actually, it wasn't even long. Longest wait time. It was slow, slow, slow. Aggravating slow, because usually I can understand, but this one was getting on my nerves, plus I didn't have coffee, so there was that. So we went around and saw a few more people. I got to see Becky, Becky Nolan from uh, Lucy Bean. Love her. I've known her since we were doing the Prim Stitcher Society stuff. And I saw, I went over and talked with uh, Elizabeth from Dames of the Needle again. I went and I, I met RETM, which we didn't have a chance to talk to the first time we went through, but she's so nice. It, it, I don't know why I had a different view of her. I'm not saying nasty, nasty, just I just had a different view of her until I met her because we had stopped in to see her stuff. 
and uh, it was great meeting her. And I don't know. We just saw a whole bunch of people. Like I said, it's a it's a blur. Maybe when I start going through some of the stuff that I got, it'll come to me. I'll have more stories. How about that? On the way back to Megan's, we st I've never been to a Bucky's, and there's a Bucky's on the way back. Uh, to Megan's house. So we went and we got some stuff from there. Matter of fact, I have a t-shirt. Oh, I don't have it here. I thought I left it here. I don't. It's in the other room. And it says some of y'all's cornbread isn't done in the middle. Hysterical. Uh, then we got to, back to Megan's around six o'clock at night and I knew it was going to be another 10 hour drive. And I had been going to bed earlier so I knew I was not going to make it home. It, four o'clock in the morning I would I just was it's too long especially driving by yourself and at night and there's a long stretch of road I have to go and it can be dangerous so I ended up staying Megan had been harassing me to the point where I yelled at her to stop um to stay another night anyway so she got her wish she got her wish we uh we stayed at her house uh obviously she stayed at her house right on Monday and I came home yesterday I left around noon and I got home around 10.30. I was hoping to meet up with my son, but he got out of, oh, excuse me. He got out of, out of work late and it was gonna take like two hours for him to get back to where we would meet up at. And I was only an hour out. So that didn't happen. Another time, it's fine. All right, what did I get? Do you wanna know? Do you wanna know? Okay, from Bucky's. Because, you know, you're here for the Bucky's swag, right? I got this beaver nugget. It kills me. I even bought some. I don't have them here. But to me, they almost taste like Captain Crunch or Sugar Smacks. But I'm going to make this into a minder. I think that's cute. Um, what else do I have? I got a whole bunch of uh, business cards. So, to, uh, you know, good for um, Sammy to have some. But I have business cards that I want to keep to make into floss drops. So, and then I ended up having an extra room key because I put mine back and then I found this randomly. So I'm wondering if my hole punch won't work to make that into a floss drop also. I think that would be cool. By the time we figured out I was going to be going with Sammy, they had already had another name. So I just folded down that name and put this behind it with my name on it. So that's that. No particular order because I just piled it up. Shakespeare's Peddler was selling note cards. So I bought them. It's a set of 12 and I'm pretty sure she has them. All this stuff should eventually, if it's not already, be available at shops, guys. So extra shopping Maybe. There's one. There's two of each uh, design. It doesn't have a blurb as to what it actually is, which is fine. And it's a just a blank note card. But I send note cards all the time. I'm sure she took all these pictures. Well, except I don't think she was alive for this one, but she had that picture. Chris is not, you know, 300 years old. There's one, maybe. And there. All right, and it came with brown envelopes. And it also came with little ceiling stamps. Not sealing, but sealing as in sealing your envelope. Just because I know you were probably thoroughly confused. Also, not the seal that makes noise. You know, I'm not going to totally entertain you by fully, full on imitating a seal. So sorry. Some of the stuff that was given away when we were in the shops. This was one uh, Live Laugh Frog from Stitchy Pros. She also gave a pen that was, uh, I think it was a bamboo outside. And I let Megan have that. 
I got from Rebel Stitcher this one because I am. These were available at Yarn Tree. These scissors. Look how cute. They are a dinky dye scissor. They are called Sun, Moon, and Stars. So if your shop can get from Yarn Tree, they can order those scissors. Or, you know, Sammy can get more. Threads, because I, you know, I need more threads like a hole in the head. Gentle Art has Once Upon a Time, it's a limited edition thread pack. And I think Sammy did buy some of these. They're called, let me see if it has the name on. Yeah, limited edition does not have the name, the pseudo name. But there's Big Bad, okay, Big Bad Wolf is the gray and white. Witch's Cauldron is dark purple with hints of gray. Wait, no. I didn't even see the purple. Dark purple, really dark purple, because it, with hints of gray. Lost Boys Maroon with brown and gold. I don't see maroon. Do you guys? Oh, maybe a little bit. Lost Boys. Cursed Rose. Deep Magenta with light pink. And Siren Song with teal and green. I don't, I guess. So I got that. I didn't even see, I think they had the threads shown and then they just had the packs. And then I got one of the new colors, which is Dragon Fruit. And this is another limited edition. I don't know if it, it had a name and I don't remember what it is, but it's this green. I thought that was a good green. So, Gentle Arts. I also ended up getting a thread pack for a chart that I had purchased. Oh, at the, at the um, Katrina Boyd retreat, there were a couple people that had stuff also. And she said, go ahead and bring it down. So, someone had needle minders. Oh, what's your name? Debbie? What's your name, Debbie? I'm so sorry if I can't remember. But she had made these cute needle minders, and I bought two for friends. Two different ones for friends. And then I bought these ones for me. They're fabric. But there's a little hedgehog. And C-3PO. I really like them. Alright, and then the freebie from Teresa Kogut, which you should be able to get if you order from any shop you should be able to get it but I know also know for sure that Sammy has it Fox and Rabbit came out with this absolutely stunning moth it's a little moth and it's called Queen of the Night I messaged her when I saw that I said I hope you sent because she ships everything from Australia first I said I hope you guys sent over a bunch of those because those are going to do well she confirmed that they did very well <laughs> All right, Stacy Nash. I got this one from Katrina. Since she let me in her retreat to stitch with them, I bought this one off of her. Sammy and I both agree that, that that little mouse and then the thread going through is just too adorable. And I had played back and forth with getting it. So I figured I'd get that one. I got fabric from Forbidden Fiber Co. This one is called Buckwheat. And this one's called Parliament. It's got some pink in there. From Fox and Rabbit, I was able to get the two new colors. This is 40 count. New release samples. This one's Inca. And then the other one is called Dust Bunny. I'm not unwrapping them. Loving those. From Dames of the Needle, I ended up getting a couple of pieces, but I think the other ones are below the other, the ones here. This is a 36 count linen. It's called my Ink Pen Leaked. 
This one puts me to mind of sort of a cross between the murky and the one I used for 11s is that she did. I forget what it was called. But Megan really liked this one also, so I was able to get a yard. And we shared the yard. From Sammy, I had her get... That's another thing. The, thre the fabrics that I'm showing, I know she had bought some extra, so she may still have it available when she gets a chance to put it up on her group, she'll be putting some fabrics that she got. And I'm, I'm sure this was one of them. This is called Stone Fruit. This is Lap and Loops. This is a newer one. She she started last year. I know she was at market last year. This is the daughter of Becky Nolan from Lucy Beam. And she started dyeing fabrics. I stitched Alice in Wonderland from the Little Stitcher on her yellow. She had called it Oopsie Daisy because it had a hot spot, what you call a hot spot on it. It was like a little blue speck, but it wasn't in the way of the design. And then I have her Cerulean Blue, which I'm pretty sure I'm stitching on. I think it's either kitted or being stitched on. But this is 28 Count Lugana Stone Fruit. I got a fat quarter of that. I've got fat quarter of, oh, this one brought out my inner geek. This is 28 count. And this one's called, when I read it, I just read it as T Earl Grey. But when I went to write out the slip to see what it was, you know, so I could remember what it was, T Earl Grey Hot. And that's from, if you don't know, Star Trek Picard. So of course, my inner geek squealed. Then this one, I absolutely love. I have a half yard of this one. This one is called Graveyard Mist. It's a gray. Loving that. That's 28 count Lugana also. Lots of lap and It was impossible to get into some of the other ones. So I was glad, I was more than happy. She almost sold out. She sold out a lot of stuff that we went back to see if we can get more of, too. Because it went quick. Uh, 28 Count Lugana Crypt Cloth, it's called. It's more brown and gray. This one we should have definitely got more of. But when we got back, it was all gone. It's called Medusa's Gaze. It's a purple. This is 28 Count Lugana also. Okay, we went to Bestitch Me. And I got Lightly Salted, Not Roasted, 32 Count Lugana. And then 32 Count Lugana in Lunar. Fat quarter. Like I said, she, she should have more of these fabrics, by the way. Then I... I think this is... This is a fat half of 36 Count Ruby Mary from Dames of the Needle. This is an old color that she had. And I've, ha I've had this before. I just like the color. It's a good neutral. This is a half yard of Winter's Dust. And that is 32 count linen, Winter's Dust. And then I shared a half yard when I got back. Megan was oohing and on. So I had gotten a half yard of Hawaiian nut and I gave her a half it. So she got a fat quarter of Hawaiian nut. That is the fabric portion of the show. Like I said, I need more room. Sorry. I've got the book, the show directory. Keep an eye out for this Atomic Ranch. They have 
some really cool fabric. They are also printing fabric and they can do custom cuts. So if you can get your shop to get them, take a look. They had some really cool colors. I didn't get a chance to get any of those. Got the Prairie Schooler 2024. So Megan and I definitely had to have those because we've been helping each other. We have done it, but we were helping each other get one of every year that they had. So, of course, when I saw this, I knew we needed it. New York Dreamer. They had this frame. It is actually huge, guys. The frame's, like, big. Because this is not as small as you'd think it is. That is a full pair of scissors. About this long. And it says cross stitch forever. Housework when never. Well I, I say when never. But they, it's whenever. And then. Kevin. Erica get your man. Because this is his fault. <coughs> I drank the Kool-Aid. And came up beachy. This is uh, the Beach Day series from Stitchy Pros. We've got Patrol and Poultry. The name alone on this one sold me. This one's got a cow, so you know I needed it. Hang 10 Heifer. Really? <coughs> Not sick, guys. It's my sinusitis. Scuba Stallion, which... Kevin calls Scuba Steve. Totally get why you would call him Scuba, Scuba Steve. Sun loving sheep. Like a cuss word comes to mind. <coughs> Don't say bless you. <laughs> I can't hear you. And Sandy Swine. Excuse me. Okay, let's get through this, guys. We're almost at an hour. Then I had to get the um, show and tell at the witches retreat from Thistles. Guys, the models sell these. There's stuff that I never thought of getting. Well, not never thought. It was like, eh, it's kind of cute. And you see it and you're like, yes, two please. Chubby B. From Jeanette Douglas. So cute. Nutcracker Matilda. From Don't Forget the Floss. This whole series is cute. And I, while it's cute doesn't mean I want to stitch all of them. But he, I just had to. I had to pick one. Um, <coughs> the reason why I picked this one, by the way, is because I've actually worked on Nutcracker Suite. At the Pennsylvania Ballet. And then, of course, I had to get something from Heartstring Samplery. And I think most of what she released were more samplery. And I'm not big on the samplers. But I was able to find this one. My scissors, my rolls. And I don't think I want to do it in all black. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to not stop the video because it makes it really hard. To get it exported. Okay. Uh, Joys of the Seasons. Winter. I know there's more seasons. I like the winter one. This is from Needle Bling. Silver Creek Samplers. Had to get a couple of hers. Seize the Needle. I think that whole bag thing. Or box, bag slash box. What? I want to try that. Basically. Then Romy Creations. Love her. She's such a sweetheart. She even included the buttons for this one. It's called It's a Beautiful Day. And it says it's a beautiful day to make something. I love the idea of putting in some pins and stuff. And I actually have like rusty pins and things I can put in there. These stole my heart um, along with some friends. So a bunch of us got it. Pray for me, I'm bitter. Love this. Salt shakers and lemons, guys. Salt shakers and lemons. Becky Nolan is like one of my faves. She's a trip. As a person, she's great. I mean, 
as a designer, she's great too, but I'm just saying, as a person, I absolutely love her. Pray for me, I'm stubborn. This is great. This is the other one that I got the floss pack for because it was available. Why not? And both of these are very true. I am bitter and stubborn. Now, there's another one that says, pray for me, I'm petty. I probably should have got it, but I got these two first. Also, Romy Creations. I got the Four Season Snowmen. So, here is Summer. Winter. Because you need a winter snowman. Spring. And Autumn. I don't want to finish them like this. I want to finish them flat in like a panel of four. Satsuma Street was there. And I got Cool Kid. I love him. I think he's just too cute. Glendon Place. Oh my god. Some of that stuff. You see it up close and you're like, oh, I want seven of everything. You know what? I, I'm, I'm missing one. Not that... I think I forgot to get her to order it for me. It's fine. It's fine. I can always get it. Witch from Glennon Place. I went back and forth on this and then I pulled the trigger once I saw it in person, by the way. This one, I, again, it's... I love them, but do I want to stitch them? And then I just couldn't resist. And Diane's a trip. She's, she's great. So, you know, on my stitching list, at least crispy bacon, Ray Coons, definitely, because Coons, you know, I, I read uh, Coons, so there's that. Those are my two favorites. Walter Millen is another one. No, I can't. And then Teresa Kogut. This isn't even a new market release. This is this is just goodness. This is goodness. And there's other charts in here. Let's between this one and then I'll show you the other one that really got me. Yeah. Oh please. Okay, so there's that one. There's and all these models were there, by the way. There's that one. This one kills me. This turkey. Oh, the way he's looking back like, don't catch me. The Harvest Ted and Harvest Tina. Those are so cute. And then there's Autumn. I don't know that I want to stitch that one, but I, I really like Ted and Tina and the turkey and the front. And then there's Autumnal Bliss. That's cute. Cute. So, and it was great seeing <clears throat> Teresa Kogut again. Kathy Barrick, her and I met years ago. It was nice saying hi to her, and I had to. That was another last minute. Gotta have it. Now, she's got two of these, the number one. And I think it's pretty much the same things, but with different motifs. And I I preferred the uh, this one better. Like, this specific one better. And then, Almond m &Ms was there with um, Athena. Stitching Goddess Designs, which I have t-shirts of hers and probably will get more. I most definitely would get more. So, I'm an m &Ms there, which is uh, Ymir, if you don't know, if you haven't heard. And she does very small stitching. When I say small, I'm talking about 56 count, one over one type things. So, she needed smaller thread. And so, she created some. She does silks and dyes her own threads. That being said, I was like, I, I don't have any of her threads, which is just rude. And, but I wanted a, I wanted something specific. I wanted to have something specific to use the threads for to make sure that I didn't just buy them and they would sit. 
that I'd actually kit it up. So I went back to ink circles. And I had been flip-flopping on this one anyway. So I got fell mood. Needless to say, I didn't make it back to... Uh, I didn't make it back to Almond m &Ms. It just didn't happen, which is fine. I went on her site, and I think I've picked out the colors I want to put um, on this. Because I thought that would be great to do different color birds. And now that I ha I was I wasn't even using reference of this when I picked them out, like not by sight because it was in the pile. I didn't feel like disturbing the pile and have it fall over. So now that I'm going to double check my colors because I may or may not add or change a couple of the colors, but that's my idea. It's what I'm planning. What else do I have? Oh, Bucky's. I stopped by Bucky's again because there's another Bucky's on the way home closer to the border. I think it's like about 100 miles from the Florida border in Griffin. And I, I haven't opened these ones yet. Bucky's Nuggies. I bought them for the name because it reminded me of um, Chicken Nuggies, which reminded me of Grogu Baby, Go Bo <laughs> Baby Yoda. And plus white cheddar. <sighs> if you can go to Bucky's, if you ever drive by one, because they're they're limited. Obviously, there's if anybody's watching me from Texas, you're like, whatever, it's Bucky's. But if you don't have a chance to go to one, their sandwiches are really good. Uh, Megan and I got the turkey. I got a turkey. She got a brisket. We cut it in half and swapped halves so we could each have half of a sandwich. And both of them were absolutely delicious. I think the turkey was my favorite, though. Just And it's not because, oh, it was so much better. I just, I think I like the turkey just better. Uh, what else did I, I got a Bucky's cup, which is in the kitchen, to be washed. I was going to go wash it out, make coffee, and I just already had coffee and so it's just a red travel cup guys uh what else i'm trying to think if there's anything else i mean if we're an hour seven minutes in a couple more minutes won't hurt right i came home frank had not checked the mailbox good thing i upgraded to that huge mailbox because it was full there was literally a box in there and other stuff i including the new tag for our car because <laughs> our car was under just my name before and registered under just my name before. So we had one license plate on there. Then when we went and did the car, his name came first on the, the loan that you get for your car. Cause I'm not, I'm not rich like that. And I couldn't just go buy a car. So when we financed the car, his name was first. So he went first on a registration. By the way, that really threw me off because your registration renews on your birthday. And I went to renew my the registration in November. And they were like, it's not due till April. I'm like, why would it be April? And I was like, oh, duh. That's when his birthday is. So I went early and just paid it because I got the notice right away that we were going to have to renew. I was like, you know what? Let's just do it now. And they sent us a whole new plate. I don't know why they just didn't transfer it over. But because my name's on it, whatever. We, so we had a whole new license plate. All that to scroll off to the fact that I now have a new license plate number. Um, yeah, so that was in the mail. in Literally in the mailbox. Along with some other stuff. Uh, what am I forgetting? I don't know. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It's a good exhausted. It's a... It's um, it's an overload. It, it, it's meeting so many people you knew either just virtually or through videos or through emails or people that you never knew at all that you're meeting up with, and it's it's goodness. It it it's a lot of goodness. Um, sensory overload, I think, is also a thing there's so many chargers looking at so many things and people and rooms and 
so many different designs and to take it all in and try to remember everything. It's a feat in itself. You need a list, absolutely a list, unless you leave it at the hotel like Sammy did. Or you lose the clipboard like Sammy did. We found it. We found it. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I got nothing. It's just... It's fun. It's exhausting. And I just wish that I didn't have to travel so far because that made it even worse for me. Is just the long drive. I know Sammy had a very, very long drive, I think. I, I think it's 16 hours for her. Sammy can correct me later. For me, it would be 12 hours straight through. But I broke mine up. I broke mine up between stopping at Megan's and, and two Bucky's. So there's that. <sighs> Hopefully, I will have stitching in a week to show you. I have not started cutting my new bags yet, although I think I have all this all the fabrics picked that I'm going to do. If um, you're interested, I still have some dragon bags left. I have dragons, and I still have Black History Month bags available, and a couple of randoms. So take a look, and I will have more bags in a few weeks. I just need to get this put away, plus I have a desk I have to put together and a pantry cabinet to put together because I never got that done before I left. So there's moving around of household things. So there's real life things. Ooh, there's other things and there's just stitching. I should be back in a week or two. I know that there were a lot of people who are like, do a weekly. If I have content, and time, I will do a weekly. Otherwise, I'll definitely keep at least every two weeks. How about that? That's, I think that's a fair enough assumption. Hopefully I haven't bored you. I am gonna put pictures of us in there. I will put also a picture of Gunner at the very end to show you how absolutely happy he was that I was home. Frank was also almost just as happy but he's not as sprightly as the dog is. So he was just as happy to be home. I am happy to be home. You love going, but you love coming home to your own stuff and your own bed and just your own. It's good to be home. So with that, I would like to thank Sammy for letting me help her. And so I could also have the fun. I knew it'd be fun, even though it'd be work. And I would also like to thank Megan and her family for letting me stay with them. They were very hospitable. It was fun, and it was nice to meet her friend. Uh, also, her friend was very nice, and it was great meeting all those new people at market. It's good to see people. Sometimes you get you get impressions of people by either a their videos or what you've heard about them through other people. But when you get to meet them in person, I am better at judging per people when I meet them in person than of anything else. So. It's good. It's a good thing. And I met a couple of people that in real life that I had met on virtual that I really need to hug, like Rob and Oliver. Um, and Noah. And Noah. Noah, you know. I love you, man. I love you. And your mom. Oh, your mom. I don't think we got a picture together. Maybe we did. I don't remember. If you got a picture, you need to send it to me. All right. I'm going to sign out and clean up. And I need to eat. So there's that. Uh, don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine. Bye.